Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before this video starts, I have a special announcement to make. The old video game, well not super old, the old video game Jurassic Park Builder. Remember, it was a mobile game, people loved it, but then Ludia shut it down. Well, I'm happy to say it's making a return. Just ignore the scissors. <laughs> I'm not kidding, I'm in a Discord server with people who are trying to remake the game. I will provide a link to that Discord server in the description down below once I finish editing this video. And the people who run it are always open to new members. They are super friendly for the most part. And yeah, if you join it, you will not be disappointed. They are extremely talented at what they do. The people who develop the game. And I'm one of the YouTube streamers who helps promote it. And join the server once I get the link in the description. You will not be disappointed. Anyways, on with the video. Welcome back guys, in this video I'm going to be doing another unboxing, which I actually have two announcements, the next one will be at the end of the video. I'm going to be unboxing this Chia Ling Lango, Chia Lango, I can't read, Chia Lingosaurus. Uh, yeah, this is a Fierce Force figure I've had for a lot in the box for a long time and I haven't been able to do an unboxing of it yet because school just keeps me really busy. I think I bought this on the same day I bought the Baryonyx Chaos figure. And this one is going to be my probably and hopefully my last unboxing for a while because I've been trying to open up my channel to new I've been hoping to open up my channel to new types of content. Like, you'll know in my channel bio, I'm a huge Doctor Who fan, so I've, I might be able to get reviews on that out in a while. Maybe more videos about Jurassic World the game might come out, which did really well, surprisingly. And maybe more toy movies or sh slash short films will be coming out soon, I hope. So, yeah, look forward to that. Anyways, here's the box. Just want to... Jeez, I have Butterfingers today. <laughs> I'm Dennis Nedry. So, this is the box that it came with. I can hear something sliding around in it. I have no clue what it is. And here we have Dinoscape Chia Lingosaurus. With a pretty cool background for the art. That must be Toro's enclosure when he escaped. There's Blue, Jurassic World. Oh, thank goodness there are no stickers. I was kind of afraid this one came with stickers, but I'm so happy that it doesn't. But yeah, there's the Jurassic World logo, Geolingosaurus attack feature. Now let's talk about the figure, because this is kind of interesting for an attack pack figure. The articulation on this thing is truly amazing. It's sort of got the same articulation that the Stegosaurus had, where you'd move this from side to side. And the tail might move as well, but it's a little hard to tell. The tail moves, it's really, really stiff. Oh no, it does move, it does move a little bit, you can see it. Oh jeez. Ah, the head is, the head on this figure is ridiculously stiff. I can barely turn it. Ah. That actually turned my fingers red trying to do that. Uh, maybe I just have weak fingers, I don't know. Yeah, articulation on this figure is great. You have the legs, which can move. That's what the back legs can do. The front legs go back and forth, but they can also go out a little bit. I mean, they can't go out too far because they have spikes on the shoulders, so a bit of a design flaw there, but still good action feature nonetheless. It's... It's the paint job on this figure that just really lets it down for me. It leaves, it does leave quite a bit to be desired. It's just green on top of green with this weird, ugly, muddy color for the front legs. Like, what is up with that? It looks like dirty mustard or something. Yeah, the, like a greenish blue just beneath the spikes, which I would have liked to be some sort of bright, vibrant paint for the plates and the spikes that would have been nice 
Also, I don't know why you would need this many spikes on your tail. I mean, this is just like overkill. For this is like overkill Stegosaurus. There's there's eight spikes. <laughs> A normal Stegosaurus only has four. That's kind of cool. Another saving grace for this figure, besides the articulation, would have to be the sculpt. I mean, you can feel all the different individual scales on the mold, too. And even on the neck, you can sort of see it a little bit of my camel clock right there. You can see the little bits of fat sagging down on the neck. And they aren't painted on. Those are like actual part... That's an actual part of the mold, too. And... I'm not sure what's up with the head. The head is like really wrinkly. It's like super wrinkly, t wrinkly. Although the peaks, the beak is, the beak and the eyes are painted on fairly well. Jeez, I'm having trouble holding this thing because the top of it is so spiky. And, uh, what else? So, that's really it. If this figure costs me like, 10 or 8 dollars, I don't remember. It was like a few weeks ago I bought this thing. Yeah, 10 or 8 dollars, which is a reasonable price for something like this. And that's pretty much it for this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe, so you never miss any videos. That'd really help me out. Leave a comment down below what you think. Be sure to check out the Discord server. And I will see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, the announcement. Before I go, I will be opening up my channel to new Doctor Who stuff. Well, classic Doctor Who and modern Doctor Who. I'll be making reviews. I'll probably just go from classic review, new review, classic review, new review, so on and so forth. I already have part of a review filmed. It's, it's this one, The Evil of the Daleks. And I will probably be out sometime next week because for the Doctor Who stuff I'm also planning a new intro not just the normal one where you see the Herosaurus, the Raptor, the Mosasaur, and Quad Pod it's gonna be a new one I have no idea how I'm gonna plan it out but I'll figure it out anyways that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one